Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new about here, please think about subscribing, it helps the channel a lot. Today, we're out wild camping. I woke up this morning and I thought, I've done the garden, I've done the back garden, I've done odd jobs about the house. Um, I'm off for two weeks, so I thought I'm going out. I picked somewhere random on the map, and that's where we're going. But on the way up here, I had to stop halfway, show you this. This is Loch Long, beautiful up in Arica. So, we're halfway to where I'm going. I'll let you know in the next bit where we are. This me arrived at my location. I'll tell you where I am now. I'm at Old Castle Lachlan down in Argyll and Butte. Um, I've just pitched up the car, so we're going to go a walk. I've noticed a small area on the map as a beach a couple of miles up, so I'm going to head up that way. Hopefully it's okay. As I said, this is just a random finger on the map where I was going today, so I'm going to go. Hopefully get set up on a good bit of ground. I'm going to go a wee walk around, see the castle. Alright guys, five minutes into the walk and I'm sweating like a good one. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you this. This, I believe, is a path which takes you off to the castle. But I'm heading this way. So, hopefully it'll only be about another 10, 15 minute walk. Because I've packed everything. But a kitchen sink. Just fancied a wee bit of comfort today, so I brought a chair. Brought a few bowls of water. A few bottles of the good stuff, and um, I've got an OEX Coyote free with me, kindly donated by Monty Outdoors. It's a big tent, so I fancy the bit of space tonight, a bit of comfort. Hopefully, I get a decent pitch for it because it is quite big. Anyway, bags in. I can see the beach from here. That's us, we're almost there, I can see the beach. Luckily, I don't see any tents on it, so hopefully get a place to ourselves. This looks a decent spot. I'm not going any further. I am knackered. Anyway guys, I'll show you a look about. See that's a cramping spot. I don't know how busy it'll be. Right at the beach. I'll just give you a panoramic the full way around. That'll be brilliant waking up in the morning too. It looks like somebody has been here before. There's a campfire. I'll use that, saving me making a mess. And there's a wee path down to the beach.
so looking forward to it tonight. We can't fire by the beach, hopefully the place to myself. And this is what it's all about guys. There's no ten. That's because one of the poles snapped. This is my first ever camp disaster. I barely put any pressure on it, and as you can see, it snapped. But all is not lost. I do have the Zephros one in the car, but it's another 40, 40 minute round trip. So I'm going to leave my kit here. Hopefully, nobody will steal it. But I'm not seeing anybody around, so oh, I will enjoy my beer tonight. I tell you that, folks. Piece of shit. Right guys, I'm back for the Zephyros one. The good thing about the Zephyros one is smaller pitches like this, I can get it up closer to the beach. So let's get this set up. And there we go guys, all set up, good to go by the beach. You know what time it is now. Time for a beer. Relaxing at last, guys. It's been quarter past nine now. The sun's just going down. Everything sorted. Oh, another disaster. The leg of my tripod snapped off, but I've managed to fix it. It's just it's one of the days, but stuff that I'm here now. I've got the whole beach to myself. The sun's going down. I've got a lovely view. And I've got a few beers. So cheers guys. I'll bring you back later on. Maybe we have a wee fire here on the beach. I've just got a couple of fire logs. I think I'm just going to do it down here rather than up there because uh, there's long grass. Just do it down here and I'll clean it up in the morning. Right. The breeze has just stopped, so the midges are attacking me like crazy, so it's time to get a fire started. I've only got a couple of wee fire logs and some driftwood, but hopefully the smoke will be enough to keep the midges away. The midges have died down a bit, so I'm just sitting with a small fire at the beach, just relaxing, chilling out. There's uh, lots of birds coming about, there's frogs jumping all over the place, but as I said, the midges have died down, so just relaxing with a fire. And um, I've got one fire log left, and there's lots of driftwood, but it's no burning too good. So, um, yeah, as I said, this place, on this rock, is the only place where I can get a signal for holding my phone up high. I'll get about one bar from my phone, but I'm not really bothered. I'm just bringing my phone along to listen to music and chill out. Just walking back to my, my chair and my pitiful campfire, which looks like it's almost out just now, so I'll need to stick some more driftwood on it. Try to save a fire log for later on. Yeah, and it's just about out. That's the driftwood that I've managed to collect. Cassia, if you're watching, yeah, I know it's pathetic, but it's the best I can do. I've had a long, stressful day, so. Welcome back, guys. Forgot my lamp. Yep, 
I've got my lamp, so I've only got my head torch and I've got a hand torch in my bag. So I'm just making this last video before it goes dark because you won't be able to see much. Um, so, yeah, bit of a disaster today coming here, the pole snapping on OEX Coyote. I don't know whether it was um, just because it was a, a second hand tent. Apparently Monty said he'd only used it three or four times, so I don't know, because I never put much force in it, and it just snapped. Thankfully, I had the Zephyros in the, in, the, in the boot of the car, which was handy. Bit of a walk back, and uh, yeah, knackered. <laughs> but relaxing now, the campfire, pitiful campfire. But, um, yeah, just, I was wearing that jungle hat earlier. It looks stupid, but it keeps the heat off you. And I know I'm only 20 minutes away from a car, but in certain situations, you need to watch. Because if you're done with heat dehydration, you'll know about it. I've had dehydration twice, collapsed with it. Um, once when I was in the army, thinking I was a smart arse, I had a 10 mile run with all my kit on. Uh, backpack, weather and stuff. I thought, I'll go the night before. I was out to run in the morning, drinking. <clears throat> Next morning, we had the run. Eight, nine o'clock. Three, four miles into the run, things just started spinning. Before I knew it, boom, I'd hit the deck. So, next thing I remember, has been in a stretcher, into the back of a Land Rover to the medical centre. Funny story, actually. So, I gets back to the medical centre, I'm lying there and the medical sergeant comes up to me and says, right, we need to take your temperature. So I opens up my mouth and he says, no, no, no your mouth. And straight away I'm thinking, oh no, it's going to be up the bum. So I leant over the table, pulled my trousers down. He says, private, calm down, this is no date night. He <laughs> says, uh, lie on the bed and lean to your side and pull your trousers down. So I thought, right, fair enough. So just as I'm about to do that, medical sergeant says to me, do you mind if a few students come in and watch? And I was like, oh, I'm still away with the ferries, dehydrated. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Next minute, seven students come in to watch. This medical sergeant put a thermometer up my bumhole. So he comes in, I thought, right, whatever. So he puts the thermometer up there and he's explaining to the students what he's doing. And I'm just sitting there thinking, oh my God, I need to fart. I'm just visualising in my head this thermometer shooting out at a rate about 100 miles an hour and sticking in one of these students' eye. So I was really trying to hold in my fart. <laughs> so I'm lying there, seven students are watching me, thermometer up my arse, pardon the language, but um, yeah, trying to hold in a fart. Luckily, I only kept in there for about 30 seconds, but <laughs> that, was, that was a day to remember for sure. But yeah, back to the point. Heat dehydration. Take it seriously. Wear a hat. Always get plenty of fluids in you. You might not be a million miles away from home. Like today, I'm only 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes walk away from a car. But if you don't get enough water in you, stuff like that, you'll go down. Anyway. My fire is going out. I'll get some more driftwood on it. I mean, you put the, the fire log on it in a wee minute. Try to keep the fire log to last. That's it going up. Hey guys, so if this is the last video of the night, and I'll see you in the morning. I'll try and get some footage later on. I may have my lamp, I need to look a bit, but I've got a funny feeling I forgot it. Right, bye for now.
Morning guys, what a beautiful morning it is. I had a nice wee night last night, chilling by the fire. And then wake up this morning, looking at this. I'll spin you around and show you. Beautiful. That's better than waking up and seeing the four walls of your house, isn't it? Anyway, time for some exploring. So I'm going to sort myself out. And I'm heading off for a wonder. Back soon. All right, guys, as you can see behind me, Old Castle Lachlan. Um, I'm going to go and explore in a wee minute. But first, I'm going to get my breakfast on the go. A couple of rolls and sausage and potato scone. So, once I've had that, I'll get back to you for the explore. And there you go guys, breakfast is served, two rolls and sausage, potatoes gone, bit of brown sauce, brilliant. Alright guys, hope you're enjoying the video so far. The rest of this video is basically me exploring the castle and telling you a bit about the history of it. If you're not really into that sort of thing and just came here for a while camping, feel free to leave just now if you want. But if you do, leave me a wee like and if you're not subscribed, Please consider subscribing to the channel. Right, thanks a lot. Alright guys, this is me in the courtyard at Old Castle Lachlan. Old Castle Lachlan has been about since 1314 and has been a stronghold of the McLachlan chiefs since then. There's lots of stories about how it came into disrepair and ruin. On the walls here there's like little tales, I'm going to take a picture of each one so you can read it yourselves but this would have been a beautiful castle on its day. Might explore somewhere else on the way home. Well, it's very windy. I might explore somewhere else on the way home, but if I don't, bye for now. Just about to walk home and I decided to take a walk right round the castle. And it seems there is a party and get in, so we're just going to walk around that just now and I'll show you. Don't know what these are for. What a view. Take a walk through here. Oh, maybe not. Be careful. Oh yeah, that's just the bit I was at before. The courtyard.
All right, guys. That'll be me for now. Until the next time. Remember, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Helps the channel. Hey right, guys, next time I'm off home.